Hi, welcome to Magpie Moonchild. My name is Kaylee. This is an unboxing video for the Way of the Panda Tarot. Um, I bought it from Fables Den. She had three decks up that had slight damage to the boxes um, on her Instagram stories. So I basically um, messaged Kimberly on there and said, yes, please, can I take that one in the middle because he's got the most damage and I don't actually mind damaged boxes because that deck still needs to be loved. I'm the type of person that buys reduced flowers in the supermarket because they need to be loved and taken home um so this is obviously the way of the panda tarot i'm going to have a quick flick through um i haven't opened it yet as you can see it's still got the plastic i have snipped the plastic so that i can open it a bit easier um but no i haven't opened this deck yet it arrived it got caught in customs which is my responsibility to pay those customs and i'm fully aware of that um but that's why why it was delayed and why i haven't um I might have mentioned that I had it a couple of weeks on the way a couple of weeks ago, and that's that's why. Um, obviously, this I bought this damage like this, so this isn't a reflection of how Kimberly normally sends them out at Fables Den. Um, it, this is just um, an opportunity to buy one for a, a few pounds uh, cheaper. But it was also I'd intended to buy it anyway. But as I said, I I love little broken things that need loving homes. So and it just fits my thumb perfectly. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is obviously the front of the box where the Panda Tarot by Kimberly M. Tan, um, illustrated by Celia Libel. If I've pronounced that wrong, I'm really sorry. As you probably know by now, I'm not very good at pronouncing names or words that are unfamiliar to me. Uh, Way of the Panda Tarot on the side, Dream Edition. I believe there are two different editions. I can't remember what the other one is at the moment. Obviously, there's bottom of the box the top and then that's the back but the other box i think it's got green on this part i think that was the kickstarter deck i could be wrong oh it's got words on the side so it's got kimberly m zan is the panda behind the pandas the creator of the way of the panda tarot her lifelong adoration of pandas and love of tarot inevitably found each other in one giant magical bear hug and boom ba boom this her panda. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> um, on this side, it's got Celia Libel, is an illustrator ba based in Barcelona, Spain. She studied fine arts at the University of Barcelona, and her dream is to make a living out of what she loves most, creating beauty. And may she, because this is just beautiful watercolour artwork. Okay, so this is the booklet, The Way of the Panda. Tarot by Kim Lee and Zan, obviously, and illustrated by Celia LaBelle. The little black and white book. And it's got the table of contents there. And then it's got Once Upon a Panda. Introduction to it. Uh, Once Upon a Tarot. What is Tarot? It explains the Major Arcana and the Minor Arcana and the Court Cards. Um... And then your tarot journey, tips on beginning your tarot journey, always follow your heart, doing a tarot reading, storing your tarot deck, levelling up your tarot skills in general, then how to use this book. There's a panda message, light attributes and shadow attributes, unlocking the, your panda powers and battling your panda shadows. I love that moon, got the bamboo off of it. Uh, the major arcana pandas with a major presence to lend you a paw wherever you are whenever you are bamboozled by the harsh winds of life so that you can chew on their wisdom and bear their magical powers so it's got the number and name of the card the fool the panda message and then light attributes and shadow attributes and then it goes through the major arcana more beautiful art of a plant there so all the way through to the world and then there's the minor arcana the elemental pandas are excited to meet you join the fire pandas for epic adventures adventurers sorry the air pandas in their quest for truth the water pandas for a cut pandas for a cuddling session and panda earths to chew on some lucky bamboos sorry if my speech is is all over the place i seem to be affected by mercury retrograde i know we all blame it but seriously at the moment it's it's looking that way. I had a blockage yesterday trying to write a personal statement. It was horrific. But we got there in the end. 
suit of wands the fire pandas pandas are from the suit of wands are curious playful and adventurous little rebels running about hoping to conquer the world be careful when you meet one they might just kidnap you to accompany them on one of their exciting adventures and i'm warning you they are simply too cute to resist the suit of wands is associated with creativity passion courage personal power confidence manifestation action and momentum so it's the same as the other one it's the ace of the ten ace of wands and then it's got the message light attributes and shadow attributes so it goes all the way through to the ten and then it has the court cards the page of wands there's a panda message light attributes and shadow attributes and then it goes on to the swords explanation of the suit and then it goes ace through to the ten again same format with the court cards and then it goes there's a cup so we're going into the suit of cups with the water pandas and the same again ace to the ten through to the court cards then the suit of the pentacles the earth panda ace to the ten and court cards to the queen and king and then how to use the wild cards as significators for intention settings swing it with the rest of the deck or as a bookmark and then let's have a look the panda spreads so we've got the panda spread and oh in between there we've got the kung fu panda cute but fierce the celtic panda and keep calm and panda on and then obviously it's got the details fablesden.com on the back which is a fantastic little website if you want to go and have a look it's got loads of tarot tips in there and all sorts um it's wrapped in this the deck is wrapped in this plastic just to keep it together and what i'll do is i'll go through the deck one by one as normal and you can have a look at each of the cards so we have zero the fool wearing his birthday hat the magician the high priestess i'm just going to show you the back of that deck because look at that that bamboo and butterflies and bubbles and feathers it's just beautiful so yeah that's the high priestess the empress the emperor these cards are beautiful quality the hierophant they're not too thick but they are matte and they feel silky that's the only way i can describe them is they feel silky um the lovers the chariot i love the flowery with the feathery wings the bright rainbow feathery wings there uh the strength card the hermit the wheel of fortune justice the hanged panda surrounded by fireflies death temperance the devil that's not a nice way to keep a panda that's not nice uh, the tower the star the moon the sun i love that it's so cute judgment and the world i love that bamboo has galactic star design to it and then we go into the suit of wands so we have the ace of wands the two of wands the three of wands oh my god it's a panda cord the four of wands the five of wands the six of wands another panda corn the seven of wands the eight of wands with their shooting stars nine of wands the ten of wands the page of wands 
the Knight of Wands, the Queen of Wands, the King of Wands, and then we're on to Swords, the Ace of Swords, the Two of Swords, the Three of Swords, the Four of Swords. Oh, reading. Oh. The Five of Swords, the Six of Swords, the Seven of Swords, the Eight of Swords, the Nine of Swords, the Ten of Swords, oh, poor Panda, Page of Swords, the Knight of Swords, the Queen of Swords, I love those glasses. The King of Swords, and then we go into Cups, Ace of Cups, the Two of Cups, on the Honeymoon in Hawaii with the Lays of Roses, Three of Cups, the Four of Cups, the Five of Cups, oh I love that, just sitting with them when they're not realising the positives and focusing on the negative, I love that. The Six of Cups, the Seven of Cups, the Eight of Cups, the Nine of Cups, and the Ten of Cups, oh, the Page of Cups, the Knight of Cups, the Queen of Cups, And, oh, sorry, I've just knocked the stand there. King of Cups. The Ace of Pentacles. The Two of Pentacles. The Three of Pentacles. That's like that bit in Mulan where she has to fling the, ugh, the metal thing up to climb the pole. The Four of Pentacles. The Five of Pentacles. Keeping each other warm in the cold. The Six of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles. The Page of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles, and the King of Pentacles. And then we have Dream Space as the extra card. And then we have a card that uh, is about Kimberly M. Zan. The pandas and I love you now and always. Visit us at Fables Den, Instagram Fables Den. Contact Kim at Fables Den. She's the creator. And then the artist is Celia Labelle. As, oh, I'm sorry. Art is always, is and always will be my true passion. That's why I've drawn this deck with the love of my heart. I hope you start a wonderful journey with it. And then it's got her Etsy shop, Instagram and her contact details there. It's a stunning deck. Right, I'm just going to give it a quick shuffle to see how it moves, feels. Feels okay, actually. The cards are a nice thickness. They're quite, well, moderately thick. It's like a plasticky bend to them. It's the only way I can describe it as a plasticky rather than a cardboard give. But they are silky, matte, smooth. They're beautiful. Yeah, they flow beautifully over each other. Oh, they're just so lovely. Yeah, they do. They shuffle lovely. Yeah, they're not sticking. They're just flowing and pulling off of each other easily. There's no clumping. Beautiful, beautiful. 
absolutely stunning the lovely deck beautiful deck beautiful artwork i love the bright watercolor um artwork on it it's beautiful i can't wait to play with it i'm gonna have a, a go in a minute and, and do a read with it an interview um with it um it's beautiful it's absolutely stunning it's so light and caring and inspirational and um very much the lighter side of a tarot deck um not too much traditional imagery but that's not always a bad thing i i i don't buy decks because they're all um traditional um right away smith style artwork um it does have elements of it but obviously every artist and creator has, takes their own interpretation of what they they want to convey in their deck and it's been beautifully done in this it's absolutely stunning um i hope that's showing you everything you want to know about the way of the panda tarot deck and um, thank you so much for watching i will see you again soon bye for now